welcome back to my channel. My name is Kaylee Gray and I'm making weekly videos about life, faith, and relationships. So be sure if you have not hit that red button below, be sure to subscribe as well as follow me on other social media platforms. So my question today is, how many of you like being alone on a Friday night? Now, maybe you're married with kids and you have a free Friday night alone, you might really like it. Well, the older I am getting, I do kind of enjoy those Friday evenings alone, but sometimes when you're single, you don't like to be alone. Now, being lonely and being alone are not the same thing. Being alone is a gift and it is rare. But in my early 20s, I used to think that being alone on a Friday night was social suicide and that I always needed to be surrounded with friends on the weekends or make sure that I had something planned that would keep me busy. I remember a Friday realizing that I had no plans that evening and I literally texted 10 friends, like not those massive massive group texts, but just to see if any of them were free to do something and none of them were available. How in the world does that even happen? I, I didn't want to be alone on that Friday night. I mean, that's what lonely people do who don't have friends. Or so I thought. Then I had my first Friday night alone. And I'm not going to lie, it was kind of weird at first. I felt the need to gorge on junk food and watch Netflix all night and pretty much just have a pity party of me being alone. And it wasn't because that I was single, but it was because that I had no friends to hang out with. And you know, they make it so easy to now watch an entire season of a TV show on Netflix. You just have a few seconds to decide if you're going to watch another episode or not. And if you can't find the remote, well, no need to stop, right? You might as well keep going. Well, I survived my first Friday night alone and I realized that it wasn't the end of the world. Now, I don't spend every Friday alone, but there are some weekends where I don't have plans with friends and I'm totally okay with it. I sometimes get excited about being able to just decompress from the week and rest. And I'm not saying spend every Friday night alone, but if this is something that you struggle with as well, use it as a learning experience and an opportunity to become independent and not to be dependent on your friends, but being dependent on your Heavenly Father. I have started to use that time as a date night with God. We usually have dinner, I read, pray, and then sometimes I'll have worship. Then I'll either go to bed early or we'll watch a movie. After those types of nights, those are when I'm usually refreshed. And it is so amazing how time just gets away from you when you're spending time with God. If you don't know this about me already, then you should know that I love going to bed early. I'm talking like 10 to 10.30. And one night I was reading a book uh, by a well-known Christian author and I started eating dinner around 6 p.m. That's Kaylee Gray dinner time. And the next thing I know, it's 10 o'clock. And I couldn't believe it. I had spent the entire night reading. Because I like to read, I just don't always have the time to do it. Well, a few years ago, I was at work talking with some of my coworkers, and they had challenged me to some activities that I needed to complete while I was single. Let's just say not all of them were easy tasks for me, but I did them and they gave me a deadline and I had an entire year to complete them. So I have a challenge to all of my single friends that are watching and if you're not single, feel free to do this challenge as well. And so here is my singleness challenge and you have a year to complete. My first challenge for you is to eat at a restaurant alone. This was really hard for me. If I was ever traveling alone, I would grab my food and usually just eat in my vehicle or I would take it back to my hotel room. So 
I won't say that I cheated on this one, but when I was in Dallas, Texas, um, traveling for work, I ate dinner around 5 p.m. because I knew not a lot of people would be at the restaurant at that time, and I didn't have a book, I wasn't just reading, or I wasn't just on my phone looking like I was busy. I sat there and I ate alone, and it kind of broke some walls down that I had about eating alone. So, that is my first challenge for you eat alone at a restaurant. My second challenge is go to a movie alone. Again, some people really like to do this. I am a quality time person, so we can go to the movies and we don't even have to talk, but it's just the fact that we're going together. And I know you can't really talk during the movie, but anyways, I like having somebody there with me. So my first time, I was so alone that people were gonna be judging me when they were thinking of me walking in alone and sitting alone. And now you can't just like go find a seat by yourself because you have to reserve them ahead of time. So no matter what, you're probably going to be sitting by someone. So that first time that I went and I saw a movie alone, I decided to splurge and get a big bag of popcorn alone and then some M&Ms. And if you have not tried that combo together, it is a must, it is so delicious. But when I looked around during the movie, nobody cared that I was alone and watching the movie alone. So again, another wall that needed to be broken down. Now I know theaters right now are not currently open, but you have a year to complete this challenge, so when they do, be sure to go to a movie alone and get yourself a special treat. My next challenge is to go to an event or like a wedding alone. I remember being invited to a wedding and knowing no one there, but I really wanted to bring somebody with me, but I was like, no Kaylee, you can do this, so I went alone. And I talked to a couple people while I was there, not a ton, but I was so thankful to get to see my friend married and also it helped me to have confidence to be able to do that alone. There are so many things that you can do alone. You can go on a mini trip alone, you can go watch the sunset alone, even though I know it's more romantic having somebody else there to see the sunset, but the sky is the limit. So, maybe the three things I challenged you today you already can do easily. So challenge yourself to three other things that you can do alone. And comment below if you have something else that you are challenging yourself to do, because I want to know what it is. But be sure to continue to take advantage of the season that you're in and to live it to the fullest. It allows you to challenge yourself and push yourself. And I hope that you see that being alone and being lonely are two different things. Enjoy those evenings where you are able to be home alone. There are times in my life that God has spoken to me about my future and those Friday nights where it looks like that I might not have any plans, God continues to surprise me and it gives me time to work on my dreams. And I know that He wants to do the same for you. So. Good luck with your challenge. You got this, and I will see you next time.